Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for checking back in today. So today I'm going to give you my thoughts and impressions on Elmer's Pro Bond Max Wood Filler. Now, I've tried a whole bunch of different wood fillers on the market. I've been using this one now for probably eight to 10 months, somewhere in there. Uh, so I think what I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna go down the front of it here, tell you about their claims, and then I'll tell you my experience as per each one of these claims. Uh, so the biggest one on here that they seem to be really proud of is they say it dries three times stronger and it is actually a structural component and can actually hold nails and screws when fully hard. Uh, I haven't tested that one, so I'm not even going to make an assumption to that. Um, there may be a video out there. You can find that out. Um, but one thing I really like about it is this is an interior and exterior grade wood filler. It is weather resistant. Um, that's something that I like. Uh, I do have a couple projects and stuff like that outside, uh, filling nail holes and things like that, or just small little gaps and things. Uh, so I do like the fact that it doesn't break down or just kind of wash away, even though it is actually uh, water-based. Uh, so because it is water-based, it does clean up really, really well if you get it somewhere that you maybe don't want, which in retrospect is actually really hard because you apply it with a putty. So unless the putty knife gets away from you, I can't really see you getting in somewhere you don't want, but you never know. I haven't had that problem yet, but I mean, it washes off your fingers really well if you just kind of smear it around or something like that. And the knife does wash off really well too. Uh, especially when it's cured, you can just kind of drag it on your table. It comes off fairly easily. Um, if not, like I said, a little bit of a, uh, water on a wet towel comes off really well. Um, I bought the tub here. Now, the reason I bought the tub was initially they do have it in a big squeeze tube, and I, for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. That squeeze tube is like trying to crush concrete through a straw. It's impossible. I, I literally, I took it back and I bought the tub. Now the tub obviously works a lot better. I can take the lid off, I can grab a bunch of it on the knife, close it back up, and I can smear it around with the knife. It is fairly gritty. Um, for a wood filler. I don't know if that's uh, like wood fibers in there or something like that, but it doesn't stop it from spreading or getting into places by any stretch. Don't get me wrong on that one. It, it fills really, really well. Um, but the nice thing is because it is water-based obviously, and it's in a tub, if this stuff does start to dry out on me, if I forget the lid off or something like that, I can actually just take it to a tap and put a few drops of water in there and then I can actually take my putty knife, mix it up, and it's pretty much ready to rock again. So I haven't really found an instance where it starts to like fully dry out and become unusable. And you can always just add a bit of water to it and it becomes perfectly usable again. Don't add too much though, just a few drops to get it back to the consistency it was at. If you add too much of it, this stuff will get pretty liquidy. And then it's going to have a problem that I have with some other wood fillers that I've tested and that if you apply it to say like a nail hole or something like that, it, wherever the water soaks into the wood, you tend to get a hologram. So even though you sanded it all off and it looks perfectly fine, you almost get a hologram around where the nail hole was once you apply your finish or your stain. And I can't stand that. I've had that bite me before. Um, this project right here that I've got, you can see every little nail hole once I put the stain on. And I even sanded it back off and retried. It's just, it's soaked into the wood. This is a different wood filler. And uh, it's one of the reasons that I switched to this stuff to give it a try initially. Now, those little holograms and stuff that, I'm show that I showed you there, I have not had a problem with this stuff. I don't know if it's because it is a little bit more on the drier side, but I've not had that problem with this stuff. This stuff applies really well and it stains really well. Um, it paints as well, there's no problem there. But uh, yeah, I haven't had that problem with the uh, holograms. Another problem I had with that other wood filler, um, it because it left the holograms, there's a really wet wood filler that tended to shrink a lot when it dried. All that water evaporated and it tended to shrink. I usually had to apply it twice. This stuff I have not had to apply. It actually applies fairly heavy and you kind of get a good rounded uh, top on it. You get a peak. Uh, over top of say like a brad nail hole so that way when you sand it back it's perfectly flat you can't even tell where the nail was to begin with so 
that's something I really like with it. Um, but yeah, it says right there, resist shrinking and cracking. I can attest to that. I haven't had any cracks yet on anything that I've done. And like I said, zero shrinkage. It actually kind of builds a peak on it. So it's really, really thick, which is nice. But yeah, all their claims so far, minus the structural one, I can attest to. It cleans up really easily. It applies super, super easily. It dries insanely fast. This stuff says it can be sanded within 15 minutes and they are not lying. It's dry to the touch within two, three minutes and I have sanded it in no time and then applied finish after no time and it works very, very well. So if you're in a hurry, this stuff's awesome because it applies, dries, sands and finishes all within no time at all. Like I said, less than an hour and you're banging everything off, no problem including dried, finished, ready to rock. So yeah, it doesn't shrink, it doesn't crack. Uh, if it starts to dry out in the tub, you add a little bit of water, mix it up and you're good to go again. So I really like it. Um, I haven't really found any instance so far that's kind of bit me, but yeah. If you guys are looking for a good wood filler, interior, exterior, just an all around usable filler, try this, give this stuff a try. It's actually pretty good. I like it, so. So yeah, if you guys like this review, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys have any other wood fillers that you use, let me know as well. I'm open to anything. This is just something that I've found so far and I've kind of stuck with it because it hasn't, like I said, bit me yet. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.